Hey everyone, welcome to Dad, Daughters, and Drinks, where you'll always get at least two of those three. Today we are reacting to NF, How Could You Leave Us? Uh, by all accounts, we should have some tissues nearby for this one. However, we're going to risk it and just go for roll it. Roll the dice. We're going to roll the dice. I uh, thought this was going to be about the, maybe the girlfriend did die from the last okay, video. Okay, she's talking about the last video, which was, uh, what was it called? I don't know, but it had the ambulance and girl on the rollover. Yeah. Um, I d it's you would think it was like more than thirty seconds ago. We just finished. Oh, well, that's because we're old. That we also covered that, but that's okay. Yeah. Um. Okay, but this is maybe the mom. You said maybe. I, I'm guessing that. I don't this know. Is we don't mom. know. Let's just play. We'll see. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get started. Okay. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff before we get going, because I'm not gonna want to say this stuff later. All right, here we go. makes his videos like are these his ideas oh uh, well i know there was the they're just like really good and so i i know tommy prophet was the guy i think that is involved in a lot of the production like a real person's name yeah i know it, it that from yeah it does it sounds like somebody who would be a greedy record executive yeah in like a bad movie. think about i heard about him in a McElroy, McElroy song. no that was kidding. jimmy iovine it's a joke. All right, uh, whatever. Uh, anyway, they're really good. I was just curious if these are like yeah, his no, no. ideas or if someone else. Well, the thing with Tommy Prophet is I don't know if he's involved in like the video production or if he's more of like music production or maybe both. However, this does look very Midwest it, it neighborhood. Does. This could be like Buffalo. Having lived in Ohio for a few years. Yeah. I mean, presumably it's Michigan, right? That is where he's from. So yeah. potato, potato. Even though Ohio State and Michigan fans would be repulsed by the statement. That's true. All right, let's go. Okay. We're holding off the inevitable. I think. Okay, fine. Ah. <laughs> How could you he said it's older, not the girlfriend. Yo, I don't know what it's like to be addicted to pills, but I do know what it's like to be a witness to kills. Mama told me she loved me. I'm thinking this isn't real. I think of you when I get a whiff of that cigarette smell. Yeah. Welcome to the bottom of hell. They say pain is a prison. Let me out of my cell. You say you proud of me, but you don't know me that well. Sit in my room, tears running down my face, and I yell. Into my pillowcases. Say you coming to get us, then call a minute later just to tell us you're not. I'm humiliated. I'm in a room with a parent that I don't barely know. Some lady in the corner watching us while she's taking notes. I don't get it, mom. Don't you want to watch your babies grow? I guess pills are more important. All you have to say is no. But you won't okay, do it, will you? you oh, keep... that's really sad. You know, and I get it from the child's point of view, but just like, you know, from the from the addicts, of course she loved them. And she 100% wanted to be there, you know, and, but that's what addiction is. And that's really right. tragic for both of them. And he even says, like, I wouldn't know what it's like to be addicted to pills, right? But mm -hmm. he's giving you the kid point of view. And, and it's it's funny in a way. I mean, I can't relate to the tragic part of this. But when I see, like, the family truckster, you know, station wagon mm -hmm. with the mom smoking while she's driving thing. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, that really reminds me of my childhood. We had the mm -hmm. same kind of car. My mom smoked while she drove kind of thing. Um, but the rest of it, you know. But this, yeah, this, like, um, I don't know, I just think. Yeah, it's just so important to have compassion for addiction. Yeah, no, it is. It's, it's, it's hard. What are you doing? Just come back a little bit. Then I yell into my pillowcases, say you coming to get us, then call a minute later just to tell us you're not. I'm humiliated. I'm in a room with a parent that I don't barely know. Some lady in the corner watching us while she's taking notes. I don't get it, mom. Don't you want to watch your babies grow? I guess pills are more important. All you have to say is no, but you won't do it, will you? You gon' keep popping till them pills kill you. I know you're gone, but I can still feel you. Why would you leave? Why would 
I got this picture in my room and it kills me. But I don't need a picture of my mom, I need the real thing. Now a relationship is something we won't ever have. But why do I feel like I lost something that I never had? You should have been there when I graduated. Told me you love me and congratulations. Instead you left us at the window waiting. Where you at, mom? What you young to understand? Where you at, huh? Yeah, I know them drugs that got you out, Captain. I can see it in your eyes, they got your mind captured. Some say it's fun to get the high, but I am not laughing. And what you don't realize and what you're not grasping, that I was nothing but a kid who couldn't understand it. I ain't gonna say that I forgive you because it hasn't happened. I thought that maybe I'd feel better as time passes. If you really cared for me the way you acting. Uh, so, okay. I, this is a little bit, like, kind of hard. Uh, I feel like for, it's... <sighs> Because I just feel like when people are so stringent, um, you know, like with addicts, like, you know, this, that's just never the way that's going to be helpful. Like as far as like the, the judgment and the kind of like accusations, it's not that they're not doing like anything wrong, but that it, it just really has to come from like, like compassion and like love as much as possible. Because otherwise they're just going to like, like retreat more into the addiction. Um, I don't know. And so this is really like hard. I feel like regardless of what the addiction is, like it's 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 really hard not to judge people by the actions of their addiction but at the same time like you know to really care enough and help this is really sad yeah i mean i'm getting the feeling he i mean based on the mm -hmm. ages of the kids they're showing that he was pretty young when that happened i know and so i think um uh, i mean i think it just takes some people longer right and i think it i know it may be i assume harder to forgive somebody who died because there's no real chance at like reconciliation or something. Right. Mm -hmm. And so I think the, there's no chance for the grieving process to kind of work its way through, uh, or the, the anger part of maybe, I mean, maybe you get there eventually and maybe part of him getting there is doing this kind of music. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I, it is difficult. Mm. passes if you really cared for me the way you acting why would you leave us why would you leave us how could you leave us how could you leave us why would you leave us Our last conversation, you and I sat in the living room talking about my music and I brought you something to listen to. You started crying. So maybe he was a little bit older then. Mm -hmm. Sat in the living room talking about my music and I brought you something to listen to. You started crying, telling me this isn't you. A couple weeks later, guess you were singing a different tune. You took them pills for the last time, didn't you? They took you from us once, I guess they came back to finish you. Crying my eyes out in the studio is difficult. Music is the only place that I can go to speak to you. It took everything inside of me not to scream at your funeral. Sitting in my chair, that person talking was pitiful. I wish you were here, mama, but every time I picture you, all I feel is pain. I hate the way I remember you. They found you on the floor. I could tell you felt hollow, gave everything you had, plus your life to them pill bottles. You gave everything you had, plus your life to them pill bottles. Don't know if you hear me or not, but if you're still watching, why? Why would you leave us? Why would you leave us? How could you leave us? It's always hard listening to people cry with this. How could you leave us? Why would you leave us? Sometimes I think about things like, you know, when I have kids and like. Okay, it's okay. People have put in the comments they think Ragnar likes enough. Oh. Because he always shows up when you're. He reacting. does. Um. Yeah. You're good. You're okay. All right, buddy. Yeah. Sometimes I think about like. <clears throat> Sometimes I think about things like this. 
no, I want not to have kids. I'm like, what? You won't be there, you know? You won't be there for any of that. called you. I wish I would have just picked up the phone. But you were here. I mean, you should have been there for us. You should have been here. Bill's got you right. And Bill's got you right. I wish you... He, uh... I think that's a calling back to mansion, right? He says in there something about if he wrote something on the wall about his mom or that he wish he had called her. And then he says something like, "I if I open up that can of worms, he wouldn't have enough time to finish the song or something like that. But... You were here. <laughs> hmm. It's over. Well, that was rough. Mm -hmm. I mean, he he's always showing her like laughing and smiling, mm -hmm. right? I, I doesn't seem like there's, and I think that's one of those things. Like when you're a little kid, mm -hmm. like you kind of, you know, I don't think you think about this necessarily, but you give your parents the benefit of the doubt, I guess, in a way. Like, you're going to view them as positive, and if they're, you know, mean or something, like, you're unhappy at that moment, but generally you view them as positive. And I think the memories, a lot of times, are, are of good ones. Mm -hmm. Maybe not always, but it's really bad. I think people want to remember their parents in the good times more than yeah, I just, the rest. honestly, like, I mean, I, like, I felt bad for the mom, I guess, a lot, the whole time. I know that's, like... I don't know. I just think it's a horrible disease. I think it's like, you know, like the person like gets blinded and not saying that they didn't like do anything, but like, this is like really real. I mean, these are like, you know, real like biochemical problems. And it's like, and they didn't want, of course they didn't want any of that. And that's just, it's just really sad. No, it's definitely really sad. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, I think you have a different point of view. Well, I deal with, yeah, you, you know, deal with I, us, right? yeah. yeah, I deal with addiction a lot and addiction can be, you know, to any number of different things. And I think it's just really tragic and that, you know, like one way to have grace for people that are dealing with that is like, you know, it's not the person you look at it as a, you know, I mean, this is a disease. This is a problem with dopamine and norepinephrine. Like they are going to have the, you know, this problem and like, you know, to, you know, it's kind of like they say, what do you say? Like, oh, good. Uh, I hate the sin, love the sinner, or something like that. Mm -hmm. But like it, it's if it's external to them in a disease process. Love the sinner, hate the sin. Is that what I said? Did I say the reverse? You said the reverse. Whatever. Yeah. You know what I meant. As I tell our children, don't listen to what I say. Listen to what I mean. Um, and so, um, but yeah, and I think that that's really like a way to kind of get there, at least like you know, for me, and just like nobody wants to be in the throes of addiction or beholden to something else, whatever that is for them, if it's alcohol or opiates or food or gambling. I mean, it's just, you know, but it, it's so hard, like in that, in that struggle. And, you know, when, when something or that reaction to it, you know, outweighs those around you, I mean, it's really tragic and it's really painful for them too. Um, and then, so it's just like really thinking about her and I'm sure how that felt like with her kids and then, you know, how she's like going to be remembered. I mean, it's just, it's just sad all the way around. Yeah, I think it's easier to have a perspective change, at least it was for me, when you have kids, mm -hmm. because at some point you're going to make mistakes, mm -hmm. right? Whatever it might be. And it's easier to realize then that, you know, your parent, especially when you talk about addiction, like it really only takes one mistake, mm -hmm. right? Which then is going to snowball mm -hmm. because it's what happens, right? That's mm -hmm. the whole addiction thing. Um, and so if you make mistakes, you know, hopefully it's not of an addiction kind, but you're still going to feel like, oh, I wish I would have done something differently. And, you know, you wish you wouldn't have made that mistake, whatever it might be. Mm -hmm. And I just, you know, I, for me, I think that makes it a lot more tolerable for me to 
forgive the, forgive other people when they make mistakes in the same way that I would want to be forgiven for any mistakes in that. Mm-hmm. And remember, uh, naloxone nasal sprays are available over the counter now. So always a good thing to have around. Are you around. really plugging like flu season? That is an opiate rescue agent. Oh, what's available over the counter? <laughs> I didn't know. <laughs> Um, it's a, Anytime it's you a hear reversal. Nasal spray, I think it's like a, no, oh, okay. sweetie. Um, it's, a, um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, they sell it over the counter now. They have it at HEB. So you're basically saying if somebody's dealing with people that have mm-hmm. addiction mm-hmm. issues, I think it would be a great gift if you've got a kid going to college or whatever. I mean, like this is like, should be part of like a normal, like medical kit. I mean, you don't know, not, it's not going to hurt anything if it's, you know, that's not what's going on, but it would be good to have around. Like, let's say you were around somebody with allergies. You might want to have an EpiPen around. All right. Whereas this is like the equivalent for addicts? Yeah. Okay. I'm trying to put it in my own mm-hmm. small brain terms here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. All right. Well, I can see that this was a big one. Yeah. I can see why. Um, yeah, it's just really sad. Now, musically, I, th- I really... I literally right now from the emotion, I can't even remember what the music sounded like. I know what he was like saying. Right. Yeah, like, no. Certain words really stick, like watching us while Lady took notes, and the that's just yeah. sad. And how could you leave us? I remember that. And and he he mentioned like she had left once before, and then it came back to get her. And I wonder if she had OD'd or something, and that's mm-hmm. when they were being monitored or whatever. Mm-hmm. Or when you know when he talked about the lady taking notes. Um, I just meant musically. I it was just kind of these simple piano chords going for most of it. I think. I probably didn't pay attention for a lot of it as well because you're so focused on the video and the words. Uh, but I remember a couple points thinking that I appreciated that there wasn't any complexity to the background music because then it really allowed the focus to be on the words and the video itself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I just thought I would throw that. Okay. All right. Well, I feel a little drained a at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I think, think also like really just really well done. I mean, it just to me, almost like, He's like on the level of like deep psychological, uh, psychological, like really like understanding about all these things. Every time he talks about relationships, even like wake up, like little high school, really, like this is very, it's always very like really reflective and well done. I really like them. And, and I think that's why even at this point he had such a massive fan base because I think there's really like people who have gone through this stuff, right? And have trouble expressing it. A lot of times they probably feel like they're alone. And then they hear somebody do it in a way, you know, hear or see you know, if the video, in a way that makes them realize, like, I'm not alone. This person is perfectly encapturing, like, how I feel, right, in a way that's even better than I can say it myself. And that's, I think, an important thing for a lot of people. But I think also the way he does these, like, even people who haven't been through these things can kind of, you know still become engaged with it and like experience it almost, you know, like not experience it, but you can really empathize with, with what people have gone through. Okay. All right. Well, on that note, um, yeah, it's kind of a, I need a few minutes. Take, for, take a break. Yeah, this is not a <laughs> next. No. Like, yeah. The last minute. one yeah. you're like next, next. Yeah. No, this is a need a minute. This is, yeah, I need a minute. All right. Well, mm-hmm. thanks everybody for watching. Do you have a, a trophy color for people who made it this far? I realized last time I said I really like uh, I like holographic. It's a you said holographic. opalescent. Magenta. No, I said iridescent. And iridescent. Then I was like, I didn't mean iridescent. I meant holographic. All right. So do you want That's to do a holographic best. something else? I don't care what color is underneath. What do you want? Under- oh, you like purple for Northwestern, so okay, we'll do that. It can be holographic. Pur- purple? Is that is it just purple? It's just purple, but we can make it holographic. No, I mean y'all's color. It's not like like we're scarlet and black. It's not just red. It's scarlet. Mm-hmm. So like, but you're just we're, purple. We're obviously royal. Okay. There's I already no. told you that's not a thing. That's it's not a thing. It's a it's thing. It's royal. Pl- oh my gosh. Okay. Whatever. We're mind, she, leaving. In, in your mind, you're like your grimace purple. <laughs> no, but that's great. I'll, I'll hold on to that one. I'm sure you will. <laughs> all right. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate you. Take care. We will see you all again on the next one. Bye. <laughs>